Hey, what's going on? It's Eric from Eric's Bookshelf. And today I want to do a video on this book here, like Brotherhood of Outlaws. I've been wanting to read this book since I was like, like 14 years old. I used to see it advertised in like the back of uh, like Outlaw Biker or Easy Rider, you know, probably in both of them. He advertised, you know, I think he owned uh, both of them too at one point, but uh Anyway, the guy's name is Bob Bitchin, A Brotherhood of Outlaws by Bob Bitchin. And, you know, I've been wanting to read. I saw the um, the movie, The Bike Riders, and I have the, the book, The Bike Riders. I had it for a long time. And I just wanted to read about, you know, because I know that wasn't very accurate. And, uh, you know, I just want to read something written by an actual outlaw biker. And I remembered this book. And... So I went to order, and it was people wanted so much money for it, man. It's like out of print, and um, and it's just like hard to get. And uh, so you know, I did some some googling around, and I found his website, and I bought it directly from him. His website is, uh, I believe it's BobBitchin.com. Let me see. Bear with me for a second. I should have been better prepared. Let's see. Bob B I T C H there it is, Bob Bitchin. Yep. Bob Bitchin. I don't know if you can see that. Bob Bitchin store dot com. And there he is right there. But anyway, he um he owned Outlaw Biker. He owned a couple of biker magazines. Then he sold he sold Outlaw Biker and he bought a, a sailboat and started cruising around the Pacific. And then he started a magazine called Latitudes and Attitudes. And I used to get that all the time, too. And I believe he sold that now. I think he's still an editor, but I think I don't think he owns it anymore. I'm not really sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, so I ordered it from him. He actually signed it, which is pretty cool. And what happened was I ordered this thing on, like, a Friday. And Monday rolled around. And... I was like, where the fuck is my book, man? You know what I mean? I mean, I know Saturday and Sunday don't count, but I mean, I've been, like I said, I wanted to read it since I was 14. So I sent them an email. I, you know, when I was website, sent them an email. I basically I said, hey, listen, I ordered your book. I was just wondering when it's going out. And what I really meant was, listen, man, I ordered my, my book yesterday and I still don't have it. Where the fuck is it? Would you freaking send this thing already? I want to read it, you know? And then uh, he sent me back an email and he said, uh, he goes, yeah, I got your order. He goes, I have to sign it. Um, he goes, it'll be in the mail, you know, tomorrow or something. But what he really meant to say was, slow the fuck down, man. You just ordered this book yesterday. You know, give me a chance to get to the mailbox and, and put it in. I got to sign it and I got to mail it out to you. Give me a fucking break. And, um, but he was cool about it, you know. And uh, then we, you know, emailed back and forth a little bit. Really cool guy, man. And uh, I'd like to meet him. He lives in California. You know, I live in New York. But, um, yeah, so this is basically, this is about, um, it's about a uh, an outlaw biker. It's based, loosely based on his experiences. Um, I think he rode with, uh, he doesn't really say who he rode with. Um, either the Hells Angels or the Outlaws. I'm not really sure, but I'm not, I, I don't really don't know. But, um. Yeah, it's about a guy that, uh, you know, he's in, uh, you know, motorcycle club and they're protesting the helmet laws that are, you know, from the 70s. This takes place in the 70s um, or early 70s. And, uh, you know, a lot of shit starts happening. He, uh, someone tries to kill him, but he ends up shooting the guy right on, <laughs> right on stage while he was giving a speech. And, um... And he's on the run, and the rest of the book is just him on the run, and uh, it's just just really good, man. It's written, it's written in basically old school biker style. So if you know older guys, if you're my age, you know fifty nine, say say if mid fifties and up, and you you are familiar with like the biker scene, you uh, you'll get it. You know what I mean? It won't bother you. But if you're if you're a little younger, it might might take a little getting used to. And um, you know, but 
it actually took me back, man. <laughs> You're reading this thing. It's like, just remind me of reading the articles in, in the Easy Riders and the Outlaw Bikers and uh, magazines. And it's just really good, man. So definitely get it. Get it right from him. You won't pay a crazy amount. He'll sign it for you. And uh, there it is again. To Eric, enjoy the ride. And um, he even spelled my name right, which is pretty rare. A lot of people don't do that. And uh, and yeah, it's definitely definitely good, man. And I guess that's about it. And I will. T oh, and give him patience, man. He's got to he's got to like sign it and mail it out. So don't you know, don't order it and then the next day email him asking where the fuck your book is because it's coming. It's coming. He'll get it right out to you. He's good. All right, and that's about it, and I will talk to you later.